my collection consists of mostly Shonen and Seinen series. And with it being such a hot topic as of late, I figured there's no better time than getting involved in shoujo titles. But at the moment, I only have one shoujo manga in my collection. This is Imakoi. It's a romance series about Satomi and Kazuma. They start dating early on, she's new to relationships, he's very kind and caring despite looking very stern and tough. It's very wholesome and cute watching Satomi express her feelings. Now, after purchasing volume 2, I then got recommended by Amazon's algorithm to pick up Rosenblood. It's a vampire series, even though it's not confirmed that they are called that, it's just easier to say they are. The four guys are all very handsome, very mysterious, and they manage to get their hands all over Stella, the main female lead, which is a little bit concerning that she's let herself get into this situation. At first, I was more interested in Yol, but now I think I'm more of a Gilbert fan. I then picked up A Sign of Affection. This I thought was going to be very similar to A Silent Voice. It is completely different, but that one's more about bullying. In this, the main girl Yuki is deaf and the boy Itsuomi shows a keen interest in her and learning how to sign. And it really focuses on their relationship. And what's great is that they really do communicate if they have any issues with each other. And just something you really just don't get with uh, Shonen. Uh, romance series. I then picked up, even though we're adults, I thought this was a shoujo, but it's actually a jose. It's by Takako Shimura, who also did Sweet Blue Flowers, which I read quite recently. All of her stories are yaoi, and this is no exception, except from the main characters are in their late 20s or early 30s. This one is a little bit spicy when it comes to its drama, a few twists that I wasn't really expecting. And yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this and the rest of the series. Now, I'm looking forward to picking up some more shoujo as well. And it just so happens that I'm going to go see a friend that I met on Twitter, not my cup of tea. And yeah, so now it's time to go manga shopping, I guess. Now I was planning to vlog the whole time in London, but as it was our first time meeting, I didn't really want to put that pressure on. So we first ended up going to Gosh, and we spent a lot of time in there, a good hour or so. And then we took a trip to Foyers, which was only next door, which had a surprisingly larger collection compared to the one I'd been to at Stratford. So I think this makes it better out of the two. And lastly, we went to Forbidden Planet because it's cheap and it's Forbidden Planet. So I picked up the 20th anniversary edition of Paradise Kiss in Gosh. It's obviously a massive omnibus edition. I believe it's five volumes. It's got some lovely color pages as well. And what's crazy is that it's over 850 pages. Now this is by the same mangaka who also did Nana. Um, I'm always one to say never say never, but I don't think I'll be picking up Nana anytime soon. So I figured I'd pick this up. You can also see in the reflection, the little like raindrops which is pretty awesome. And then the spine has like a kind of gloss for the text as well. I'm quite worried about the spine, but I'll just have to be extra careful. And then I also picked up volumes one, two, and three of my love mix up. I don't know anything about the series. I kind of just saw it. I uh, saw that it was Shoujo Beat and for good, why not just purchase it? I had a quick look online and I think there's only five volumes out at the moment. So getting what I can and yeah, hopefully, it doesn't go out of print for everybody else soon. And now, although I didn't pick up anything in uh, foyers, I did pick up at Fiddabin and Planet uh, volumes 9, 13, and 14 of Queen's Quality. Now, the reason I picked this up was because most of the series that I've read so far have been very romance heavy. So I asked Geeky Dreams for some less romance focused shoujo series. She gave me a couple of recommendations, which I thought would be pretty easy to collect. One of them was Queen Quality. And obviously she also told me to get the prequel uh, QQ Sweeper. So I ordered a couple of volumes or a couple of series of several volumes. So the first that I have here is Requiem of the Rose King volume four. And I did order some of the earlier volumes, but a lot of them are quite hard to find. Some of the more recent volumes are quite easy to collect. Again, I don't know anything about this series. She kind of just told me to collect this one, but there was definitely more of this in stock than there was of anything else that she recommended. And then we have volume two of Requiem of the Rose King. And this is a big package. Now volume three of Queen's Quality. Volume one. And then volume four. 
And that was my shoujo and Jose manga haul. Now, other than Paradise Kiss and my love mix up, I've read pretty much all of the series, or at least volume one, and I've loved every single one of them. So thank you to Geeky for giving me the recommendations and to Not My Cup of Tea for chilling with me uh, during the manga shopping trip. That was fun. Now comes the challenging part, trying to fill the holes from the series that I'm, from the volumes that I'm missing, and also uh, collecting going forward, I guess. The issue with shoujo manga, as I'm sure you're all aware, it's not regularly kept in print, and anything that's over 12 months normally is quite difficult to come by. And I'm dreading to find QQ Sweeper Volume 1, and um, I feel like that's probably going to be the most difficult to find. I'll probably get reprints of Requiem of the Rose King, but QQ Sweeper, maybe not so much. I won't be so lucky. Anyways, that was pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.